Hey everybody, Jack Lispini here with a new tutorial and today we're going to be experimenting with some of these brand new transparent paints from Pro Acryl. Got myself this Crimson Fist character because I'm going to be painting some Crimson Fists here in the near future and we're going to do a pre-shade starting out with the brand new dark neutral gray and I'm going to be spraying that with the airbrush. Got it in the airbrush with some flow improver about a 50 50 mix and a high angle over the entire model kind of covering everything except the deepest shadows and recesses this is going to be the main body of our blue color using the color tint the idea is to pre-shade the blue using black gray light gray and then pure white to have a very dynamic field of color with a contrast gradient very quickly after that i'm going to pull out light neutral gray this is also a new paint from the wave 2 set and i'm going to be focusing areas on the model that i want to be brighter so this is going to start the contrast of our gradient so you can see I'm focusing the tops of areas, shoulder pads, the helmet, knees, toes, all that good stuff. Taking my time, I don't want to pull up this paint by spraying too much. I want to layer it in there nice and easy. I'm going to focus on the shield a little bit, pop that out, and then we'll go on to our next color. Last, I'm going to do some bold titanium white. Got this in the airbrush with some flow improver. I've got about two drops of paint and about five drops of flow improver because white is notorious for being ornery and speckling out of the airbrush. So adding more flow improver helps make that white paint super smooth, easy to spray. And I'm gonna be focusing even more on those areas that I wanna pop out and be the most bright. You can see that I'm focusing on the helmet and the shoulder pads knee pads, the center of the chest, stuff like that. This step is really important. You don't want to put too much white. You can see I'm just accentuating our light gray with very small pop highlights of that white. Where I see most people stumble on this is putting too much white on the model. Okay, now we're gonna go to our transparent blue. I'm mixing this up on camera so you can see about two, three drops of that transparent blue paint and then a very generous portion of flow improver. I'd say probably about seven drops or so if I was to guesstimate. I'm gonna stir that up and you can test the consistency of your paint by pulling the brush onto the side of the airbrush cup. If it flows down like thin water, then we're good to go for this candy coat, transparent tint, whatever you wanna call it. going to be spraying all over the model. I'm not going to focus any one area too much, just constantly back and forth spraying across the model to get a nice thin coat of this transparent blue. I would say if I were to put it into terms of a number of coats, probably about two very thin coats. So I'll do an all over pass. Notice that I still have some of that gray and white showing through untinted and then do a second thin pass and it gets us this really vibrant blue color with very dynamic shadows and highlights. I know it's a little bit bright for what we consider crimson fists which are usually a much darker navy blue but you also have to remember we're going to be color separating this by painting in the joints, coloring in things like his fist in red, metallics, all that good stuff. It's going to separate those colors focus in those gradients on the different armor plates, and we're gonna put a wash on it so it'll darken that down just slightly. And to protect our paint, I'm gonna put on a coat of matte varnish, just thin that down in the airbrush with some airbrush thinner. I find that the thinner works a little bit better with the matte varnish helping it go on very smooth and dry quickly. I'm just gonna go over that whole model. When you're using your varnish, any type of varnish, if you see it start building up a sheen of wetness, that means stop focusing on that area with the airbrush and move on because you don't want to build up too thick of a coat of that varnish with the wetness because the air out of the airbrush will push it and spiderweb it and it'll dry in a really nasty pattern, so be careful. All right, here he is with that matte coat dry. 
The transparent paint does dry with a little bit of a shine to it, but you can remove that with a simple varnish to get the finish that you want. I'm really excited to keep working on this model. I'll probably paint some of them on Twitch coming up. I really like these transparent colors and I really like the Wave 2 from Pro Acryl. I see this paint set replacing a lot of the paints on my desk in the very near future. Pick it up, give it a shot. I'll catch y'all next time.